Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. This is the Silver Mink channel and today I'm really excited to show you guys a Dollar Tree haul that I've kind of had accumulate over the past week. My kids were on spring break and uh, so I chose to spend my time with them instead of making a video. So that's the only reason why I haven't been here, but I missed you guys. So I'm glad you're here. Um, I also want to point out to you guys that I will be making another video either later today or probably tomorrow. I went to Michael's and hit a fabulous sale they have going on. Um, the sale is running, I believe, through the 24th of this month. I mean, guys, they have like washi tape for 70% off. Yeah. They have pads of um, scrapbooking paper for five bucks all kinds of crazy deals so you definitely want to hit up Michaels and I can't wait to show you everything I got there it's amazing I've gotten recently really into uh, making homemade cards from things that I get at Michaels as well as at Dollar Tree so um, maybe I'll do a video and show you guys that I don't know bad crafting video again Woo! do you guys craft if you do what do you like to make shoot me a comment I'd love to hear about it so yeah Dollar Tree haul. Let's do this. I'm going to start out first with these things because I was pretty ridiculously excited about these and if you're a mom of littles you will understand why. I found this big 24 fluid ounce bottle of bubble bath and it's the Cars 3 motif and it is berry scented and I bought a couple of these and so I used some last night for my kiddos and it made so many nice bubbles for them and they were just happy because it has Lightning McQueen on there. So that was a heck of a deal. So get that while you can because I don't think it's going to last long at DT. And these, oh my god, my kids about lost their minds when they saw these. And how could they not? Look how adorable those are. So these are both body wash. And Dor uh, Nemo here is Bubbly Berry Scent, and Dory over here is Ocean Fruit Scent. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go back and grab some more of these if they're still there. I wouldn't be surprised though if they're gone. So if you like these, run down to your Dollar Tree. Um, oh, and by the way, as far as size goes, they are 14 fluid ounce. So yeah, my kids were very excited about that. So let's continue with um, health and beauty stuff and maybe a few new candles that I found. Um, but I want to start off first with, I found this new scarf at my Dollar Tree. Isn't that cute? It's like totally springtime. And uh, I don't know how the weather is where you're at, but I live here in the Phoenix area. And today our high is 80. And I was just out there and I think it's pretty much above 80. So it's officially springtime for sure for us here in the Valley of the Sun. But I feel bad for my friends across the country where you guys are still getting dumped on by snow. So this is my, my bit of springtime to you today. Okay, and then um, moving along, um, I was so excited because I hadn't yet seen these at the Dollar Trees I have been going to, but one of my kiddos' teachers actually found these at the Dollar Tree she went to and she was so sweet she picked one up for me wasn't that nice she's so awesome so uh, shout out to you Mrs. Aladi <laughs> so yeah it's the uh, Petty Perfect electronic nail care system awesome name brand I can't wait to try this out okay and then I found this thing now, on the tag, it says Silicone Scrubber Brights. My question for you guys is, what the heck is this for? Do you know? Does anybody know? If you know, tell me. Comment. I'm assuming maybe a face scrubber? I don't know. I just picked it up because it feels really kind of good um, when you do a sensory thing here like this. And for one of my littles that... Um, special needs. I figured it would be just something fun for him to use for sensory for calming and everything. But still, I am interested. What is it for, really? Tell me. Tell me! Okay, and then 
I found something I was so excited about because I know a lot of you out there have already found these long ago. I don't know why my Dollar Trees did not jump on the bandwagon. Or maybe they did and they just got cleared out every time before I could get there. Because I managed to get the very last of them. So hopefully they'll get some more in for you friends. But they are super cute. They are a set of, um, well not a set, they individual, but hand sanitizers. And this one is, smells like Arrowheads candy. This one is Tootsie Roll. Yes. So I can't wait to try that out. My favorite candy of all time, Junior Mints. I literally can never go to the movie theater without enjoying some Junior Mints. And um, Blow Pop Charms. So that should smell pretty good. And then lastly, this is my absolute, absolute favorite. I was so excited they had it. The Tootsie Roll Pop Cherry Scent. Remember this owl for the Tootsie Roll Pops way back in the day? I was so happy. And it says, how many licks? Remember that? So happy to find these. Okay, and oh, and I found some more of this. I was glad to see they restocked this. This is like magic for dry hands. And um, I also use it on my arms. I use it on this area. What is that called? Like decolletage or something fancy schmancy like that? I don't know. I just know this stuff works. It's from Dove. It's the Intensive Cream. Um, it looks small, you guys, but I'm telling you, it is so thick and creamy. A little bit goes a long way. So I just picked up one of those, but if they have them again, I'm going to keep on picking them up. They're going to be a mainstay for me. And here's another thing I was really excited to find. Some mosquito repellent bands. These are water resistant and they last up to seven days. So I had bought something very, very similar to this last year via Amazon and trust me they were not a dollar a piece so when I saw these at the Dollar Tree I jumped all over it now, I'm gonna definitely go back and get some more um, I happen to pick green yellow and black but they also had blue and they had purple so that's definitely a good deal and then I found these these were new to me these are Max Block After Sun Aloe Vera towelettes there's 25 in here and it says Soothing Sunburn Relief. And I'll let you guys know how this works. Um, I have them on hand because it's getting to be now that time of year where my littles are going to be ready to hit the pool. So it's good to have these on hand just in case someone gets a little sunburn. So I'll let you know how that works. For a dollar, why not try it, right? Okay, I found two new candles that I love, love, love. And I'm excited to find out how the throw is on these. I have a feeling on this one in particular, it's probably going to be good because I can literally smell the wonderful aroma from this candle with the lid still on. It's from, um, let's see, they are both from, of course now I can't find the name, from Old Williamsburg. And this one is Lemon Meringue, my absolute favorite pie. It's obviously yellow wax, one wick. And it is heavenly. So, yeah, if you find the lemon meringue candle, mm hmm And then I found coconut leaves. When I, when I first saw this, I was skeptical. I wasn't sure if it would be smelling good or not. But it does. It's like summertime in a jar. So, yeah, it's really nice. It's light, though. It's light. So if you like a lighter scent, this may be the way for you to go with the coconut leaves candle. Okay, so that's that in this particular little um, container I have here. And then we're going to move on to some journals I found and new stickers and blah, blah, blah. Oh, before I do go, you guys, you guys, you guys, this was hiding from me. I have to tell you, this a Romance brand Soft Lilac Petals Wax Melt, you guys, this stuff works so incredibly well. Like I went to three different Dollar Trees looking for more of these and I could only find this one. 
I'm hoping, fingers crossed, they restock this because these wax melts, no joke, they put out a scent, they have a throw exactly like those, you know, bigger name brands, um, like Scentsy. Now, I'm showing love to my friends out there that do Scentsy, not knocking it. Those are wonderful products. But if you're a mom like me on a budget, these are the way to go because you get six wax melts in there for a dollar. And I'm telling you, the throw is so amazing on these that when I burn these downstairs, I can I can experience the scent all the way up my stairs to my top floor of my house. So if you find these and you like a springtimey scent, you got to get them while you can because they go fast. I think the secret may be out on those. Okay, and then something else I'm going to really recommend to you guys is when you find the glue sticks in the craft aisle at Dollar Tree, I highly recommend them. You get, um, I believe it's 20, yeah, 20 pieces in here, and they work just as well as any other glue sticks. So for me personally, whenever they have these in stock, I grab like two or three packs each time um, because I just want to make sure that I have plenty on hand. So hopefully they'll forever carry the glue sticks, but that's definitely something you should pick up. Now I found two new uh, notebook notebooks. And these are from Jot Brand. There's 80 sheets in here. Obviously just plain lined paper in there. So I'm not going to bore you with that. But the reason I bought them is the covers. Isn't that cool? It says good vibes only. That is definitely my life's mantra. I love this so much. And then here's live life. Now wouldn't these be fun to um, put into like a gift basket for a friend or something? I think so. I thought they were absolutely adorable. And then I found this jewel pen. <laughs> it makes me feel a little bit like a kid, a little bit like a princess, a little bit, eh, I don't know. But I just love it because a big pink gem up there or jewel or whatever. So I saw that and I just had to have it. Because I think every mommy should have some sort of special pen that is hers alone and the kitties, not kitties, kiddos can't get their hands on. So yeah. Anyway, and then I found this eight pack of note cards with envelopes. I took one out so that you guys could see it better. Now, even though I really enjoy making homemade cards, I definitely picked up a couple packs of cards and things recently because if I'm in a pinch for time or something and I want to send out a card to someone, why not this? It is so cute. And I'm totally into sending out cards these days because I feel like with all of that is in our world these days, I hope to be able to make somebody smile. So instead of just bills, bills, bills in your mailbox, you're surprised with a nice friendly little note to make you feel happy and appreciated. Okay, so I also picked up this 30 count of recipe cards. And again, I took one out so you guys could see better. I love how it has the rainbow colors all around it. And these couldn't have been at a better time when I found these because one of my kiddos had a school class project where he had to make a cookbook. So these were pretty handy when I found them and he liked them. Okay, and then stickers. Let's talk stickers. I was beside myself when I found these coffee stickers. I hope you guys can see that okay. I know there's a lot of glare with my lighting, but hopefully you can see they're coffee stickers. Um, there's 14 pieces in a pack. I happen to love these so much I picked up four packs. And they came in very handy because I used them for a homemade card I made for a friend who is an absolute coffee lover. And I feel ya, sister. I feel ya. So for my days are a little bit slower. I drink decaf. But I still have to have that decaf because that aroma of coffee and that first sip Trust me, my body doesn't know it's decaf. It still helps wake me up. And, oh, here's some more paper. Sorry, it's kind of coming out of the package here because I took one out so you guys can see it. Well, isn't that cute? Happy thoughts. So this would be good just for jotting down stuff or writing a note to somebody. But I, I like how it says happy thoughts. Because I'm definitely working on more and more good vibes, positive thinking, utilizing the law of attraction, all that stuff. 
Okay, I found the 60 count jot stickers, they're pop-up. So they are not necessarily jeweled, but they are raised and they're different colors, but they're slightly iridescent at the same time. And I've used some of these as well and some cards. So I picked up a couple packs of these. Because they worked out pretty well. They match obviously with a lot of things. And then I picked out this eight count pack of butterflies. I like these because I already have a gem attached to them. So super pretty. And then I'm going to try to put these on the back of here so you can see them better. Here is handmade stickers. There's nine counts in here. Butterflies and birds. Aren't those pretty? Perfect for card making. Or just sticking on something because you like it. Why not? Here's another pack with the same kind of theme. And lastly, in my little pink bucket, I found two new uh, magnets that I fell in love with. Don't worry, be happy. My kids cracked up at that. They're easily entertained, kind of like me. And live the life you love. That is so true, right? I hope you're living a life you love. I know I am these days. Okay, so that was for my little pink bucket. And so let's move on to some kid stuff and mom stuff and some books and everything. So I found this and I figured my kids might enjoy this. It's a detective fingerprinting kit, seven pieces. It says gather evidence. There's a record pad, brush, dusting powder, magnifying glass, um, print, lift tape, and ink pad. So I think that'll be fun. I'm gonna put things like this in their Easter baskets this year instead of candy. My kids don't need any more candy. Doesn't it seem like once Halloween gets here, it's just like candy, 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 because you have Halloween, and then, you know, you're looking at Christmas, and you're getting candy there, and then it's like Valentine's Day, you're getting candy there, and then it's Easter, and they're getting candy there, so, yeah, toys, they're getting toys. And then I found, if you watched my previous video where I showed these really nice um, wall decor, that I found that have lyrics from famous songs. I found one more, so I was excited. Um, so there you go. I can't wait to put these all on my walls like a montage to great songs. And when I do, I'll take a picture and I'll share it with you guys. So I was super excited to find this one, all by its lonesome. Oh, and toys. I had to pick this up. It's a glow flying disc. I figure not only will this be fun for the kids and I to play with together in the park, but I love that once the glow sticks die out in the um, frisbee, you can replace them in there. And they obviously sell the glow stick things at Dollar Tree. So, yeah, that'll be fun, right? Okay, and then I found some new boxes. I thought these were so cute, I couldn't resist. This one has metallic glue on the cover on the top with a pretty pink flower. And then around the sides it says love, joy, laugh, smile. Wouldn't that be fun to fill this up with something nice for a friend as like a little gift box? I think so. And then this one is my personal favorite. It has metallic pink flamingos on the top, and it says, Hello, Summer. And I am not looking forward to summer, because in Phoenix it's brutal, but this is cute anyway. It says, Hot Summer. Yes, I know, it's going to be a hot summer. Sun and sea. Cool off. And here's road trip. Looks like some people are heading out of the desert where I live, because they're not fools. They know it's going to be hot. That's what I'd like to do. And then this is the other little box. And if you see, by the way, the, the difference in size here, you got large, medium, and then here's the small one with metallic blue on the top with some pretty seashells. And then all around the sides of it, it's like, um, what would you call it? Like weathered colored wood paint or something? I don't know. I just think it's really, really pretty. 
And I have a YouTube friend who I believe she said she was planning on doing some decorating in her home with a beach theme. And she is completely awesome. I think I will send this to her if she does not already have it. And that is you, Anna, from Only In My Dreams. I would highly recommend you check out her channel. She does awesome hauls, like Dollar Tree and all kinds of other stores. So head on over to Only In My Dreams. So Anna, let me know, girl, if you don't have this yet, because I will send it to you. Okay, and then I picked up... These, again, are for Easter baskets. Some little bath toys with some duckies and some froggies. Yes, my seven-year-old still play with bath toys. They would be mad if they knew I told you that, but they do. So I just thought these would be cute to put in Easter baskets. And I picked up these little table fans. The colors alone I couldn't resist. But yeah, I love these, and I love that they kind of swivel a little bit on the stand. And um, I picked up a pack of batteries as well from DT to put in here. And I was all excited to put these on my table and have the wind blowing through my silver hair as I did my video. And then I realized, oh, you've got to have a teeny tiny little screwdriver to undo the back to put the batteries in. So it looks like I'm going to be going to Dollar Tree to get me a teeny tiny screwdriver. Yes, so no glamour video for me today. Alright, and then I picked up some books. I was totally stoked because they had completely replenished the book section. So, let me first tell you guys, I am not big on diet books, exercise books, whatnot, as you can tell. But, I found this and I couldn't resist it because it's a good way for me to track everything for the sake of showing my cardiologist so he doesn't chew me out. This is a um, Alan Borishek's Complete Food and Exercise Diary. It says tracks calories, fat, carbs, exercise, and more. What is the more? I want to know. What would be the more? It's like when you shop at Bed Bath & Beyond. What is the beyond? I'd like to know. These are questions in life that need to be answered. Okay, and then I found this book to read with my kiddos. On the back it says ages 8 and up. So my kids could obviously easily read it on their own, but we read together every night right before bed. So I think this will be a good book for us to start. It's called Gabe and Izzy. It says Standing Up for America's Bullied. It says two friends, one incredible bond, and a mission to stop bullying. On the back it says Meet the Voice of America's Bullied. In middle school, Gabrielle, or Gabe, developed a degenerative muscle disease and was harassed by bullies as a result. She did her best to keep her head high, but it wasn't easy. Then Gabe got a dog, Izzy, who developed an uncannily similar disorder. They were invited to appear on Animal Planet to talk about their bond, which in turn led to an invitation to speak at a school. And so began Gabe's career as an anti-bullying advocate. What a great message is this for kids, right? And in here there's plenty of photos of Izzy the dog with Gabe. And um, I'm really looking forward to reading this with my kids, for sure. And they had a lot of copies of these too, so hopefully you can find one as well. Looks super sweet. Okay, and then when it comes to book reading, I personally am heavily into reading personal development books as well as autobi autobiographies as well as memoirs. So I was really, really excited when I found this baby. Yes, a memoir from Jane Lynch. Remember her from Glee? I think she's doing all kinds of other stuff these days. And she's been in movies, obviously, but I just love her. And this is called Happy Accidents, but the even more fun thing about this memoir is it's with a foreword by Carol Burnett. We love Carol Burnett. So this is sure to uh, provide some laughs and, uh, and reading enjoyment. So I picked that up. Definitely worth a dollar, right? And then one last thing, and then we're done today, guys. I wish my time with you today was longer, but it has to end, right? And I'll be back. I hope you'll be back, too. Okay, so one last thing, 
Now, I told you I'm not into diet books, right? But this one I couldn't resist, and I'll tell you why in a moment. Uh, first, I want to tell you the name is Downsize. 12 Truths for Turning Pants-Splitting Frustration into Pants-Fitting Success. Now, the reason I bought this is because it is not a diet book, per se. It's really more humor. So, anytime I have an opportunity to laugh at myself or laugh at other people, why not? Um, <laughs> no. Uh, you know, it just it would be a fun read. So, there you go. I had to pick this one up as well, and I had quite a few of these. So, that's it. That's all I have today, guys. I hope you found something in here that you enjoyed, and please hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you join me each time, and especially that way you won't miss that amazing Michael's haul that I'm going to show you, as well as craft videos, and of course, more Dollar Tree hauls. So, hit the subscribe button. Come on back to the Silver Mink channel, and thank you so much for being here today, friends. Have a great day, especially since it is officially the first day of spring. So have a good one. Bye.